Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. So let's see, the Six of Cups in the reverse. So for those of you wondering, you know, are we going to reconcile? Is so-and-so going to come back? It looks like yes, but maybe not just yet. Also for some of you, there might be a need to leave something in the past. And actually the second part of this reading that you might want to stick around for or not, is going to be really just an open reading about messages from spirit to you, you know, your healing journey, something spirit wants you to know for yourself, or, you know, just some kind of insight. We'll just pull some cards, see where we go with that. But everything is time stamped below. And I should say, actually, so we'll do what's hidden first. We'll then get some insight and guidance for you, Divine Feminines or Soulmates watching. And then I'm going to do the one question, one card pull. So I'll announce the winner at the end. If you would like to be involved in that, please just leave a comment with a question below this video and I will enter you for the draw for next reading, which is Monday. Um, also, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link is below. If you would like to join the Facebook group, surprise, the link is also below. Um, if you want to listen to my free meditations, the link is also below. Okay, so Spirit, what is hidden from my viewer? What is hidden from my subscriber in their connection, please? Ooh, okay, lots of masculine energy here. Um, let me keep going. Sometimes, sometimes I dive in too quickly. Hold on. Oh, oh, I'm getting really um, tingly feeling in my arms. It's kind of weird, but I quite like it. I don't know. Um, I feel that your person is very secretly working on an offer to give to you and this this feeling I'm getting it's something they're really excited about but they're equally as nervous so like 50% really excited 50% I'm gonna say what I heard shitting themselves <laughs> so this is someone who who's working on something to give to you now this person how will you know if this message is for you you know they would rather be passionate or communicative than actually tell you how they feel they would rather talk about almost everything else everything under the sun but their feelings you know for you the fact that that they love you with the king of cups this is someone as well who in the past might have been in their sort of more low vibrational moments um immature unstable with their emotions um a little bit controlling you know emotional manipulation that sort of thing but this person is working on an offer for you so let's keep going let's see what this might be so yeah, this is what's hidden. This is very hidden with the High Priestess. You might not even be speaking at the moment. Um, so I feel that what's hidden today is something very 3D based, very concrete as well. Wow, I'm excited. Your person is excited here. Okay, so let's see, we have yet the moon with the page of pentacles so it's some, you know, something they want to give you but it's hidden the moon pisces energy um it won't be hidden for much longer is what i'm seeing the energy feels very focused your person is really really focused on this whatever this is you could be dealing with a virgo just saw the hermit card okay that's, ugh, that's way too many Yeah, they want to give you something to mend your heart to i'm um, hearing heal a rift between you so if something happened um or rather something didn't happen you know whether they took some action or neglected to take some kind of action um, and it caused some pain here between you both they want to fix this and do you remember wednesday's reading if you um haven't watched it maybe have a look because it showed that your person suddenly you know has woken up has realized the part that they have played in your connection and it's crazy because it took them so long and you're saying well it's obvious but it wasn't to them not until now and now it looks like they're working yeah see on mending this on bringing back justice can you tell us about this this pentacle please what is this offer what is this gift in the past i'm seeing they didn't even want to give you something small they couldn't even give you something small now what they're working on is so much bigger than anything that you were asking for 
or wanting from them in the past. And I've just noticed, see how red my finger is here? The ring finger, so itchy. So maybe it's something to do with a commitment, a proposal, a commitment they need to leave to come towards you. Yeah, then, okay, a couple of things. They're nervous that this isn't going to go down well, that you're going to reject this offer. Maybe they think it's too late. Maybe they think they haven't, you know, there's been no communication for too long. They have to put their ego aside to make you this offer. But in actuality, it's going to make you very happy. You know, it's going to be just the sort of thing that you want from this person. Wow, okay. Yeah, and on the back, justice in reverse again. So Libra energy, but also anything that has been imbalanced. They're wanting to try and fix this with this offer here. Okay, so let's get some more detail. It's possible your person still has some work to do around their heart space because the King of Cups is still reversed. I don't feel that they are planning, intending, will be, or are wanting to bring this kind of low vibrational, um, you know, let's face it, emotional nonsense into your connection anymore. It might be, you know, it's 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 almost like almost like a, a big wound, something quite deep that it's not going to be fixed overnight. So they're going to have to work on this in the background over time. But they are aware of the effect it had on this connection in the past. Yeah, see, the Three of Swords in reverse. So this is, for me, talking about the fact that this isn't a new, a, a fresh wound. It's not a fresh um, blockage for them. They're halfway towards healing, the Four of Swords, you know? So it's something that they have done work on, but they still need to do a bit of work on. And look, we have the Devil in reverse. So yeah, they're aware. They've identified that this is a problem. This could be partly to do with that realisation they have that, like I said, we talked about on Wednesday. Okay, this King of Cups, please. My chin is really itchy. <laughs> I'm getting an image of a man, whether this is your, your person or you. And it's like when you're thinking, you kind of, like you have maybe a beard. I'm not seeing a massive one, like short, like sort of stubble, maybe a, a bit longer than stubble. And you kind of maybe play with your beard or, you know, touch your face, that sort of a thing. Or, you know, if it's not you, um, your person. Yeah, look at this. The Page of Pentacles in reverse twice. You just wanted something small, just a small show of commitment to this connection. You know, even in the sense that friends, friends have to show commitment to one another. I'm going to commit to turning up for your birthday party or responding to your messages. You know, friendship is a commitment. Um, but your person wasn't wasn't coming through, wasn't giving any of this. Yeah, the three of wands in reverse. You were putting in lots of time, lots of effort, trying to manifest, feeling like nothing was happening. There was a blockage. There was an obstacle. <clears throat> the five of wands in reverse. Possibly people were in your person's ear or interfering within this connection or they were distracted by lots of other people. But that's an energy of the past. You know, the cards in reverse, they're not, they're not entertaining the interference of other people anymore. Yeah, the King of Swords. This person is going to speak this truth. Uh, this person is going to come forward with this offer very soon. And, you know, what What do I mean by very soon? Because it's relative, isn't it? Well, whenever you're watching this video, I feel honestly within the next, I'm hearing three to six days. This is good. I'm hearing spirits telling me this is appropriate. So this is a king. He has a lot and you can see his abundance, his wealth is literally sort of dripping off him. It wouldn't have been appropriate for this king to, to come forward as a page. That's not enough. This pentacle, this is, this is appropriate. Wow, the sun, honestly, this is something that they are hoping this offer is going to really bring you back together, to mend, to heal, to promote growth here. Wow, okay. Oh, the 
the High Priestess twice. This is extremely hidden. Some of you will not see this coming at all. Can you tell us about this pentacle? What is it? What could this be? And I mean, of course, it won't be the same for everybody, but let's try and get some idea. The star in reverse. Hmm. Page of Swords, it's something they've researched, they've put work into, they've learnt about this, they've, you know, um, it's challenged them, it's made, whatever this is, they, they've had to grow, they've had to learn, they've had to put real effort into creating this or acquiring this, whatever this is. They, I'm hearing, Spirit's telling me they did it the hard way, the star in reverse, Spirit was trying to get them here all along, but your person was quite stubborn, possibly, and had to get here on their own, but they've, they've got here nonetheless. Okay, let's keep going, we still don't know what this is, can you give us any idea or a few suggestions, please? What's the strongest energy here? The Seven of Swords. For some of you, it could be going to the theatre. Maybe your person um, thinks that you, you enjoy the arts or you like going to the theatre or something like that. Um, because this Seven of Swords, I'm not, I'm not feeling any sort of low vibrational um, deception or anything like that. I genuinely feel like a mask is in... Um, you know, like how uh, the Phantom of the Opera, he wears a mask. I'm hearing also the Mask of Zorro, um, which isn't, it's not a theatre production, is it? It's a film, I think. But um, they want to take you out somewhere, possibly. You know, like on a date, to take you somewhere nice, um, somewhere that you sort of might be impressed with. Um... Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse, something to relax you, to help you relax. They might see that you have a lot going on. You're always thinking about a lot. You're very busy. Um, I feel that your person wants to, I'm hearing the word escape, help you escape for a day, an afternoon, a night, something like that. If you're quite, you know, if you're quite a thinker, if you think a lot, your person wants you to be able to just switch off, you know, and have fun with them. Mm. I'm also getting a game, like a sporting event, although I don't know if those are really um, happening in terms of spectators at the moment, but definitely taking you somewhere. And again, justice in reverse, they're hoping this is going to mend any imbalance of, of give and take in the past. And of course, you know, if you've been giving to this person, giving your energy, your emotion for years, then taking you out for an evening isn't going to fix everything, but they're hoping it will be a start. Yeah, the Six of Swords, a start to moving forward to a better direction here, um, or moving forward in a better direction towards just, you know, stability, a smoother way of communicating, of thinking, moving away from this lack of success of the past. Again, this, this sort of, um, what would you call this, like a tablecloth, it's making me think of like a curtain, you know, um, on a stage. So maybe it's something about dance, the theatre, um, any kind of a show. Um, <laughs> I'm having, I'm being reminded of a memory. I had a friend, boring anecdote time, maybe not, I don't know. I had a friend and um, he asked me, he said he was going on a date with a woman and he had two options and he didn't know which to choose. And one was a magic show and one was something else. And which did I think she'd prefer? Um, but the reason I'm being reminded of that is because I'm thinking of like a magic show, any kind of show. Okay. Also, Spirit's telling me the rest of the story is relevant. So this guy, um, what he was, so he, I didn't realise because I'd already had the conversation with him saying that, you know, it was never going to be more than friendship. But he obviously thought in his head that he could somehow win me around. And what he was trying to do was, I suppose, make me jealous, make me think he had options. Um, I was completely oblivious to this and I just sort of tried to be helpful and suggest that he do the other idea, take her on this other date. So your person, like Spirit was saying, has really had to, they chose the hard road. They made this difficult for themselves. You know, maybe they've tried a whole bunch of different ways. Maybe there have been games here. Maybe there's been push and pull energy. Maybe there have, has been third parties, you know, goodness knows what, but finally they have made it. 
Okay. So I think we'll leave it there, shall we, for what's hidden. Your person is working on something. They want to give you something. I think, you know, for most of you, they want to take you out. They want to spend time with you. They want to have, um, you know, a really nice evening or night with you, something like that. And I keep hearing tickets and I'm seeing like sort of two paper tickets in my head. Okay, so um, let's clear these away. If you're leaving here, if you're leaving us here, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you are sticking around, let's have a look at what Spirit wants to say um, in terms of just messages for you, really. You know, messages that are trying to come through, advice, healing messages, guidance, anything Spirit wants you to know right now. Okay. So Spirit, what are your messages for my viewers, my subscribers, please? What guidance and advice do you have for them? And we'll pull some oracle cards as well. I'm hearing lotus flower. Some of you might be confused about work, about a business, about finances. Spirit is saying, don't delay. Act on your moments of inspiration. That's divine guidance coming through for you. You know, look, he's standing here so long that the opportunity is, is missing. Not only are these pentacles ready for him to take and to, you know, do something with, to buy something, to to plant them, to grow more, but, you know, even the leaves that are, that are providing nourishment to the pentacles, to this bush, are going brown. So not I'm not saying run about like, um, you know, a headless chicken just doing everything, but when you have those true moments of clarity and you know this is this feels so inspired, go for it. There's something in your mind here, even, you know, it could be, yes, work, business, but something to do with your root chakra, your stability, there's something you have on your mind, um, it might feel a bit like a fantasy at the moment, and spirit is saying, no, it's not a fantasy, you know, if you want us to help you, call on us, ask us for signs, um, we'll, we'll point you in the right direction here, but you have to then follow through with this action that, that we're prompting you to take. You know, we can't move your arms for you. The Five of Cups in reverse. If you've um, stumbled into a loss in the past or something hasn't worked out, again, another message of stand up, dust yourself off and, um, you know, push on, push forward. Again, if this, is, if this isn't business, if it's love... Um, you know, if you're wor worrying, is everything lost? Is my person coming back? Will we reconnect? Yes. And it's time to get into that vibration of knowing, of course, we'll come back together. This is a divine connection. You know, nothing as simple as some misunderstanding or mishap in the 3D is going to prevent us from coming back together. It's time for you to step into your power, whether it's business, love, health, whatever it is. You know, also... Um, Take your time and attention, put it, you know, it's the weekend, so this is a good time to, to bring your focus back to yourself, to allow yourself to sleep in for an hour longer or um, to spend a little bit longer making a really delicious um, meal for yourself or whatever it is, you know, I feel like you've been doing a lot, giving a lot, you know, lots of balancing acts here, um, trying to keep everything smooth, everything running smoothly and spirit saying it's time to replenish yourself in work if you're working for someone else you, you're not getting the recognition you deserve um also other people who you're trying to work with might be holding you back they might be slowing you down at the moment um yeah if it's um a relationship a connection whether it's romantic friendship familial it's time to kind of push forward and say i'm not going to be an option I'm a queen, for heaven's sake, you know, I'm not an option, I'm not like, um, you know, in Renaissance times, how, um, like, usually I'm assuming the kings would have, um, sort of, what are they called, you know, women who would visit his bedchamber or whatever at night, um, and you're, you know, you're saying I'm not one of those women that you've hired, I'm a queen, I'm your queen. And if it's, you know, if it's not romantic, if it is a friendship or a family situation, um, you know, delicately reminding people to please have more respect for your time um, and your energy here. 
and not expecting so much from you. Yeah, look how much you've been doing. Balancing everything and in the background you've been feeling maybe just sort of quite emotional, quite um, upset. Um, and I don't, I don't just mean sort of upset, like crying upset, but your balance has been upset. Yeah, okay. Yep, definitely it's time for movement, it's time for speed, it's time to release feelings of regret, sadness, disappointment, because you're always manifesting and it's time now to start manifesting the good here. What I'm interested in is the Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands. For some of you, this confusion feels disempowering. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, it's making you feel stuck. It might be worth um, sitting down with a pen and paper, writing out your options, whatever those are, or what's confusing you, and seeing if you can come up with practical solutions. Um, yes, the Page of Swords. So I see, what, okay, so the reason you're confused is because you don't have all the facts. You can't make a decision about something when, you know, there's, there's more you need to know. So right now, Spirit's saying it's not about, if you are confused, if this is you, it's not about pushing forward and forcing a decision. It's about taking a step back and gaining more information, evidence, understanding, and then the decision will be the easy part. Then you can you can shoot ahead and, and take action. So this could be connecting with the divine, as I said, asking for guidance. This could be very practical, very 3D, if you want to say, um, I don't know, maybe you already have your own business and you want to expand in some way maybe you need to do more research maybe you need to speak to your contacts maybe you need to ask someone for advice whatever it is i see the reason you're feeling stuck and confused is there's more there's more to know there's more to learn tell me about this page of swords in reverse the four of wands yeah a feeling of how do i make this stable also i'm doing something now or i'm involved in something now and i want to change but how am I going to break away from this? You know, I'm, I'm a bit nervous to leave this steady, stable situation behind. Get more facts, find out more information in whichever way makes sense for your situation here. Okay. Good. So, oh, no, we'll, we'll do some messages from the Archangels and then we'll get an animal spirit guide message. Okay, what messages do you have, please? Teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas and teach these ideas to others. Yes, there's something more for you to learn here. Some of you might be moving forward as a guide, a teacher, um, a someone that other people look to in any kind of capacity. But yeah, there's absolutely more to figure out and that's going to help you you know, spending a bit more time figuring this out now is going to save you so much time later on. It's going to free you from this feeling of being stuck. You're going to have a clear um, path ahead of you. I'm getting, getting the image of the star card, but the chariot as well. Um, and you won't feel like you're delaying anymore. Okay, we have sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Yeah, and that's what I was getting with this two of um, pentacles card. And it's because you're overstretched, you've been doing too much gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. Yeah, so be this queen of pentacles. She's not rushing anywhere, you know, all in good time. Okay, and let's get one of these. Can we get an animal spirit guide message, please, for my viewer, for my subscriber? What's the message, please? A 
I'm hearing the number seven. Seven might be important to somebody watching. We have Zebra, let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. Yes, what is this foundation that you, you need to change, adapt, step away from, or a foundation that you're trying to bring in to fruition? You know, again, it comes back to figuring out the facts, learning more information. When you, um, when you are informed, you feel empowered. Um, <laughs> sorry I was trying not to laugh because it reminded me when I was um in secondary school in high school my blazer had um a logo sewn into it in latin and it said knowledge is power and uh, my partner loves to laugh at <laughs> to laugh at me for that because when I told him he thought that I meant just me I <laughs> I had sat there and, and sewn in Latin into my blazer that knowledge is power, like some sort of, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, if you are informed, knowledge is power. Once you're armed with this knowledge, um, you can move forward and you won't be fearful, you won't be stuck. Um, you will have confidence and you will know exactly which direction you're going in. Okay. Good. So let's wrap this up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to book a reading, the link is below. If you're sticking around for the one question, one card answer, let's dive straight into Okay, so Firefly, thank you for your question. Will your business flourish? So that's a pretty um, pretty good question in terms of being in sync with the reading. Ooh, I mean, that's a really good sign, isn't it? Uh, okay, I know it's supposed to be one card, but I have to say I'm seeing that it might be, you're probably going to do better working on your own, at least at this time. It might not be the best time to collaborate. So Spirit, is Firefly's business going to flourish? Can you please show us one card, please? <clears throat> is Firefly's business going to flourish? I'm also hearing if you're thinking of leaving like a corporate job or a job where you're working with other people or you're employed by someone, Spirit's giving you the green light saying it's a good idea. You, you'll be very successful, you know, being your own boss. Okay, is Firefly's business going to flourish? I don't really want to pull a card. I'd rather it volunteered itself. Firefly's business going to flourish? Spirit's telling me we already gave you an answer. Okay, the Page of Swords. I feel, yes, it will, because we did have that King of Pentacles and it felt really significant. You might feel like you're at the beginning of a journey and that's fine. Be this page. He is curious. He is excited to learn more. You know, we just spoke about him. He, um, anyone who comes along who seems like they might have good information, he takes it on board. Anyone giving him advice, even if he's going to discount it, he listens in the moment. You know, he he's hungry to know more. So as long as you're putting in the groundwork, absolutely is what I see. And this is really a time for you to um, have faith, have courage in yourself, and don't necessarily look to other people to be supporting you in this or, um, you know, working with you. And it's not to say people won't, but I mean, you've got this on your own and Spirit is saying you can do this. You know, you don't need anybody else to do this. Okay. Awesome. So thanks everybody. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye.